Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and it's time for another unboxing and today we are unboxing a new mini PC from Shuttle. Uh, this is the DS10U. It's a bare bones kit and it includes the processor but not the RAM or the storage. Uh, this one has a Celeron 4205U processor inside but you can use an i3, an 8145U, an i5, an 8265U or an i7-8565U, and you can buy one in each of those processor configurations. Uh, being that this is the Celeron version, this is the entry level, and we're looking at about $400 for this, again, bare bones. These are fanless, and typically these U-series processors are uh, going to be something you'll find in a laptop with a fan. Uh, these will require no fan and should be silent, and they're used for a lot of different types of use cases. So a lot of these shuttle PCs drive uh, displays at retail, uh, but you could also use them for general computing as well. And I think having a silent computer with a decent amount of performance behind it is something worth looking at, which is why we're going to have a full review of this soon on the main channel at lon.tv. Uh, so let's have a look inside the box here. We've got a power adapter. Uh, all of these chips that it supports are running at 15 watts, by the way, and we'll test the power consumption when we do that full review. It looks like here we've got some uh, little stands for the, for the computer. Uh, we've got what looks like a Visa mount here as well, so you can put this on the back of a monitor. We have some Wi-Fi antennas here, another uh, little stand and some screws, obviously for getting everything secured inside of it. And then of course we've got the DVD, which you will need to find yourself a DVD player or yeah, uh, to, whoops, to be able to get everything working. And in case you're wondering, those Visa mounts are metal as you can hear the clanking going on. Uh, let's have a look now inside and see what the computer looks like. And then we'll take a look inside the computer as well and see what kinds of stuff you can put in there. So let's get that out of the box. And before we toss the box away here, we also have a little starting kit for getting everything going and instructions as to where all the different pieces are located. So let's get the computer portion out. We looked at one of these from Shuttle recently, um, probably the last generation of this product. All right, so here is the computer itself. We've got a lot of USB ports here on the front, uh, two USB 3 ports, a USB 2 set right here. Looks like we've got the power button, another set of USB 2 ports, an SD card slot, microphone, and headphone jack there. Again, this is fanless, but it does have a lot of venting to keep those processors running cool. Uh, now what's neat about these shuttle machines is that because they are used in commercial environments, we've got some uh, COM ports here. Yep, the old style serial ports here on the back. Uh, what's interesting is this lower one is like a combo COM and VGA, so I'm guessing it probably needs some special cable to go to VGA. I don't think there's enough pins there, but that's kind of neat. Uh, so you've got two serial ports on it essentially. Uh, we've got HDMI out here, display port out, two more USB 3 ports, and you've got dual gigabit ethernet here along with your Wi-Fi antennas. That is pretty cool. And then it looks like they want you accessing things through the bottom. So that is what we're going to do now is take out my screwdriver set and see what lies underneath. All right, one thing that I really like about this device is how easy it is to get into it. The last version we looked at required you to take off the entire heat sink thing to get at the RAM and storage. Uh, this one has everything neatly placed on the bottom of the motherboard. I don't believe the processors are swappable. I'm going to ask and see, but there's no easy way to get into that section of the case here, at least not initially. And I think the uh, tolerance here is very minimal between the uh, motherboard here and the top of the case. So I'm, I'm anticipating that this processor is probably soldered on, but again, I will double check on that. Uh, they are selling these kits bare bones with a specific processor inside. Uh, so that is uh, my initial take on this. But again, we'll find out for sure. Now in here, you've got a spot for a two and a half inch SATA drive. So you can pop an SSD in there. Uh, you also have an NVMe slot. This is a, a drive, a 256 gigabyte drive that they put in for mine. But of course, yours will not have that. These are sold bare bones. And there's also two RAM slots here for DDR4 RAM. Uh, they did populate mine with some RAM. I'm not sure what it's got in there. Maybe it's uh, four gigs. We'll have to check when we boot it up. I think you can go up to the max that the U chipset uh, supports. So I think that's probably about 64 or 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, we'll get all the details for you in the full review 
that will be posted here at lon.tv. So I like how easy it is to get at all the user replaceable things on this. All on the bottom, you don't have to take apart the entire computer to get at that. Uh, you just need to get these two panels off and you are good to go. So stay tuned for the full review soon. Uh, let me know what questions you have down in the comment section below. I should mention, because I didn't say this at the outset, that this is on loan from Shuttle. So when we're done with this, it goes back to them. All the opinions you just heard were my own, and no one paid or uh, provided any compensation for this unboxing, nor did anyone review or approve it before it was uploaded. So stay tuned. Full review coming up soon at Lon.tv. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.tv supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.